Let's look at another problem from web work. Here we're, we've got a normal distribution and we're looking at z-scores. Now notice what they're saying in the instructions. They want us to use a table, but we know that, that we can use r instead of tables in, in every case. Uh, we want to satisfy something. N notice they tell us something important here. That this is a standard normal distribution. That means that the mean is zero and the standard deviation is one. Now I've drawn a very poor picture of that here. So there's our, our mean of zero and uh, our standard deviation is got to be one. Okay, those are the things that we know about a standard normal distribution. Now what we need to do is find the percentage of the scores where the z value is bigger than 1.8. Let's look at our picture again. If this is where 0 is, okay, then 1.8 would be up here somewhere. And we're interested in the percentage of the scores that are up here. So it's that percent that we're looking for. Now here's what we can do. We we know that this particular value is a 1.48. Let me just check and make sure that I remembered that properly. 1.48, yep, there we go. So we know that we can use a Q norm, uh, a P norm, I'm sorry, to find this red area back here. Okay, and I know that the total area under the curve is one, so I'm going to be able to find this really kind of quick and easy. Let me just come to here and I can, can do that. You see, I'm going to take 1 minus, oops, minus the P norm of 1.48 in a standard normal distribution. So the mean has to be 0 and the standard deviation has to be equal to 1. That's it. Okay. There it is. Now that's a fraction amount. Okay. So let me just come in here and, and copy that. And we'll come to here. Now now notice that they wanted us to th this is would would get a wrong answer because they wanted us to write this as a percent. So to change a fraction to a percent, I need to move the decimal place two to the right, so the decimal place needs to be right there. And so it's going to be a 6.48%. Okay, let's check the answer. Woo! Of course it's correct. Now, if it was less than 1.48, then we actually found that as, as part of our answer before. I really didn't want to subtract that amount from one, I just really wanted to know the area where z is less than 1.48. So that would be that amount. I can just copy and paste that. Copy and paste that into there. And notice that they wanted it written as a percent. So the decimal place has to move 2 to the right. The decimal point needs to be there. So it's 93% uh, down there. And let's check that answer. And of course that's correct. Okay. Now if z is greater than than uh, a negative 2.18, um, I'll try and do that on the same same picture. You do it in blue. Negative 2.18 would be way way down here. Okay. <laughs> Having trouble drawing that straight line there. Okay. So, so there's a negative 2.18. Okay, and I'm interested in knowing the all the z's that are on the big side of negative 2.18. I'd like to know that percentage of the the area. So I'm looking for all this blue area way up here. Okay, the thing that I can find is the area to the left of that. Let me if there's a color that I haven't used yet. Try that brown area. I can find this brown area down here, this little tiny sliver. It's going to be really a pretty small amount. 
And so, do you see that to find this, z is bigger than that, I want to have a 1 minus a p norm of negative 2.12 in a mean, in a normal distribution that has a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. Okay, so I can just copy and paste that. And they want it as a percent, not as a, as a fraction. So the decimal point has to move 2 to the right. So it's going to be a pretty high percentage, about 98%. Okay. Now, if I want to find the area between negative 1.2 and less than 1.48, then let's, let's think about what that would need to be. Now my picture is getting so messy here that maybe I could, I'll, I'll try and draw another one if I can here. Okay, so there's my, my standard normal curve. It's got a mean of zero, a standard deviation of one, and I want to be between a negative 2.18 up to this value of 1.48. So I want to find this brown area right here. The thing that I can find really pretty easily is this green area that takes all of that and works its way all the way back to that tail. That's going to be too much. So I could find that green area as a p-norm of 1.48 and then I could find uh, this red area right here, which is the amount that's, that is too much, and I could just subtract it off. Okay, let's see if we can uh, can do that here. Okay. So, I'd want to find the p-norm of 1.48 in a mean, where the mean is equal to 0, and the standard deviation is equal to 1, and then I want to subtract the p-norm, p-norm, of a, let me slide this over here, of a negative 2.18 in a mean equal to 0 and a standard deviation equal to 1. Okay, so I found that green area first minus the red area, and that's going to be the area that we're looking for. I'll need to be convenient just to copy that. Oops, I'm sorry get it copied right. Copy that and paste it right into there. Okay. Oops, but wait a minute, I want it as a percent, not as a fraction. So I've got to move that decimal place two to the right. The decimal place needs to be there. Let me clean that up so it's about 91%. And we can check that answer. Ooh. <laughs> I didn't like that answer. Uh, not quite. Check the column you used. Okay, so there's the p-norm. And that's the... Oh, see there? Okay. See, I typed this in wrong. It wasn't a 2.18, it was a 2.12. And it was a 1.48 on the, on the high side. Okay. So let's see what that one does. Control, I need to copy that and paste it into here. Okay, the decimal point has to move two to the right. Point. Okay. Check my answer. Okay. Yeah. My problem before was that I'd used a negative 2.18, and this problem was looking for, for, uh, between a negative 1.12 uh, up to a 1.48. Okay, I hope that helps.